In this corner, weighing 205 pounds, fighting out of Tucker, New Jersey, we have brutal Brendan Barrett. Before one of my fights, I always try and meditate, play the fights in my mind over and over and over again. Uh, you know, what can happen, you know, how I'm going to react to certain things my opponent might do, and uh, basically set up a game plan against my opponent's uh, tendencies. First thing I always work on is uh, my cardio, conditioning, and strength training. Basically, I uh, get my body going back up into training, get back into the gym, get myself moving so I feel strong, and I got some cardio behind me, and I start my technique and training. And at the end of the fight, really basically just wind it down with a little light cardio, some shadow boxing, and basically fine tune my uh, game. Uh, I think, especially in mixed martial arts, the most important thing is to be able to modify your strategy. Because, you know, in between a fight, you know, one guy can work on his grappling real good, one guy can work on his striking real well. So you might not see what you're expecting to see when you get in the cage of your opponent. So being able to modify and adapt to what your opponent shows you is very crucial. The blood wasn't going into my eye, I just saw it dripping all over the cage. I've only ever been hit with uh, bare knuckles, so when I got hit with a glove, it was actually kind of comforting. <laughs> I think uh, my most important weapon for both would be uh, my mind. I'm very intelligent outside of the cage and also when I'm in the cage when they're smart, whether it be a game plan, how I prepare for the fight, or how I'm mentally prepared. Um, if I was going to say a physical attribute, I'd say my uh, concrete head, my iron jaw. Hardest thing for me in MMA, honestly, uh, I'm not like a street fighter. I didn't get into a lot of problems. I didn't get into a lot of fights coming up. I had to keep telling myself it was okay to hit the guy as I'm walking into the cage. First time it was a little uneasy, after that it got easier and easier, but still gotta remind myself, you know, it's a sport and you know, I'm actually allowed to hit him. <laughs> It's the last couple moments of the third round, completely spent, and I knew it just came down to uh, heart. So I knew I had to do something. I went in, took a shot, drove him all the way across the ring, and took him down into the corner. First time I hit somebody was my first fight, and. I don't remember much after that. I hit him, I heard everyone go nuts, and the adrenaline took over for the most part. First time I got hit, I remember just going, that's it? <laughs> so, <laughs> it wasn't as bad as I expected. So you wanted to fight me? 